Hello guys, welcome back to Core Reader Channel. And in this video, we are going to launch a new course, Master Solidity. This course will be a full-fledged course to master the Solidity programming language. And in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of what are the things that we are going to cover in this Solidity course, or I will say Master Solidity course. Now, before talking about the course overview part, let me tell you why this course is different from any other course that you might have seen on YouTube or on any other platform. Like, see, most of the Solidity course that you see on any other platform or YouTube, most of them only cover the syntax part of Solidity. They are going to tell you how to declare a variable. They are going to tell you how to write a loop. They are going to tell you, you know, how to write a contract and everything. But they are not going to discuss the concept part behind each syntax which is very necessary in the ca in case of solidity and in this course i'm going to talk about the concept part of each and every syntax that i'm going to introduce in this particular course so if i'm talking about variables then i'm going to talk about state variables what is local variables when to use state variables when not to use state variables how to write mappings how mappings are different from arrays so i'm going to cover the concept part of each and everything that i'm going to talk about in this particular course then in this course i'm going to introduce three solidity projects yes i'm going to cover three solidity projects and these will be major projects guys let me tell you these will be major projects all these projects uh, like the first project will start from the beginner level then the intermediate level and then the advanced level so all these three things will be the part of this master solidity course which make this course different from any other course that is available on youtube or any other platform now let me give you an overview of this course so what are the things that we are going to see in this particular course we are going to start with what is solidity you have to understand solidity as a programming language what it is how it is different from any other programming language. So we will start with this. Then we are going to talk about the Solidity compilation process, which is very, very, very important thing. Most of the Solidity developers do not have an idea about this, and this is a very important concept. So we will talk about this Solidity compilation process. Then we will talk about state and local variables. So you will understand all these things once we will start with these with this course. So just don't worry. Then we are going to talk about the functions. We are going to talk about visibility specifiers. So there are a lot of visibility specifiers in Solidity. We have public, private, internal, external. So we will talk about all these things in great detail in this course. Then we are going to talk about the basic data types like integers, bool, address. So we will cover all the basic data types that Solidity provides us. Then we are going to talk about loops and then conditionals like you know how to write a else statement, what is required, what is modifier. So we are going to talk about all these things in this conditional section. Then we are going to talk about arrays, the different type of arrays. What is a fixed size array? What is a dynamic size array? So we are going to talk about all these things. Then we are going to talk about mappings, how mappings are different from arrays, how to create a basic mapping, how to create a mapping with struct, how to create mapping with arrays, how to create nested mapping. So we will cover each and every aspect of mapping data type which is a very essential data types in salty programming language and after that we are going to talk about structures and enums a very 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 important thing because most of the time you're going to use structures and enums in your solidity projects so we will see that then we are going to talk about global variables so we have a lot of global variables provided by solidity like msg.sender msg.value so we will see all these things in this global variables section and definitely this is just an overview, you guys do not think that this is just you know i'm going to cover only 16 videos no this is just an overview of this course there will be a lot more than 16 videos okay so just don't worry about now let me talk about the projects that we are going to cover in this particular course so we are going to cover three projects as i said right in this particular course so we will start with lottery smart contract which will be a beginner level project for solidity developers so you will understand you know how to write a solidity smart contract via this lottery project then we are going to talk about crowdfunding project this will be an intermediate level project where you will see how crowdfunding is done using solidity programming language and if you do not know all these terms just don't worry we are going to talk about all these terms in great detail in the upcoming videos then we are going to create the third and the last smart contract which will be an advanced level project that will be event organization project. It will be a great project and you cannot 
all these three projects in your resume to impress your employer. So as I said, we are going to cover lottery smart contract, crowdfunding smart contract, and event organization smart contract. So that whatever concept you are studying, you know, in the Solidity course, you are going to apply all those concepts in these three major projects. Now, is there any prerequisite to this course? The only prerequisite to this course is first thing that you should have idea about the blockchain fundamentals and good news is that I have already created a six hours blockchain fundamental course. You can watch that course. I will share the link in the description as well as in the I button. You can watch that course and then you can switch to this particular course. And another prerequisite to this course will be that you should have knowledge of at least one programming language. That programming language can be you know, C, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript, any programming language, you should just have knowledge of at least one programming language. Now, when I'm saying knowledge of uh, at least one programming language, I'm not saying that you should, you need to be an expert in that programming language. What I'm trying to say is that you should know the fundamentals of that programming language, like how to, you know, create a loop or what is a loop actually, or what is a variable, what is a data type, because I'm not going to talk about what is a data type or what is a variable. Definitely, I'm going to talk about how to create a data type or you know how to create a loop everything in solidity but i'm not going to tell you know these basic terminologies like what is a variable what is a data type all these things so you should have knowledge of at least one programming language before taking this course these are the only prerequisite of taking this course so i hope you are excited for this course if you are excited please comment below that i am excited if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, this is my LinkedIn profile. If you want to message me, talk to me, you can message me directly at Instagram. I'm available there. So I will be answering your doubts or queries if you have in the Instagram DM. Okay. Or if you have any uh, doubts or, you know, any uh, problem related to this particular video, you can comment below this video as well. I will be happy to solve all your doubts. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel because I'm regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. So meet you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.